Hey guys, welcome back to Pinching Pennies with Priscilla. Look, I just got finished taking out the remaining items that I had sitting in bags all over the place. And so I decided I would come and show you guys where my stockpile is and how it's looking. I haven't done a video like this. I don't think I've shown a stockpile video since I moved in this house. I think I showed you guys where I was going to put my stockpile, but I never showed you how it looks right now. So yeah, I am in my storage room, which is where my um, washer and dryer is in the basement. And I'm showing you guys my little bit of um, laundry detergent that I have. I don't have what I consider a whole lot, um, but it's, an, it's enough to keep me, um, you know, okay. I don't feel like um, panicked. Um, if it gets a little low, I have enough to last me for a minute, but I don't think it's a whole lot of detergent. But yeah, this is what I have. Alright, so I'm going to swing over here past the door. That's my deep freezer. And now I'm going to show you guys where I store everything. And yes, I have not gotten my shelving units yet. Um, it's not important for me. I mean, it's not something that is mandatory. It's not something that... I absolutely have to get so I'll get it when I get it <laughs> this is working okay for me um, at one point all that you see here was in bags just on the floor I would just get stuff from the stores do my video hauls and I would just drop the bags down here on the floor it got to the point where you could not even walk through here so finally one day my daughter and I got in here and got it as organized as it could possibly be without having any shelving units so that's why everything is on the floor um yeah i'll get the units when i get the units okay so i'm going to show you guys i'm going to give you a view as you can see of everything that i have and i'm i'm going to tell you if i did not have the storage room this would be chaotic in my upstairs because upstairs is livable upstairs has furniture upstairs has people living in it and it would not be any space upstairs for this stuff so I'm really really thankful that I have the storage unit so let me show you how I have it stored and everything like that okay so let's start right here in the corner this is the overflow um, that box right there has two additional chairs that go to my dining room table so we never put them together they're in there <laughs> but this is my um, overflow of my feminine products um, this is what's left over um, that's not upstairs in a hall closet. So that's the corner right here. Then right next to that you have the um, lotion. And I have like just one row of lotion. So let me see if I can zoom in here. So that's the lotion. You see I just have those two Carmax. The Nivea goes right back in that row right there. That's my lotion. Not a lot. And as you can see, it's Nivea, so it's recent. I really didn't have a lot of lotion. Next to that, um, right there in the front, is just some bubble bath for Booby. And my all of my Olay body wash goes back two rows there. And next to that is another row of body washes right there. And then you get to my shampoo and conditioner. Now, that goes pretty deep. So, starting with those... Um, little crazy looking designer bottles right there <laughs> looking like I don't know eggs oval shaped or whatever starting there and going over is all shampoos and conditioners okay shampoos and conditioners going over 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 yeah a ton of shampoo and conditioners now um, so it ends right there let me zoom back out and right next to that is the um, shaving products. Y'all remember we got a whole ton of shaving products from CVS. I gave away all of that. And so this is really all I have left over is those two little rolls. And that stuff lasts a long time. I mean, you only use just a tad bit. So that's more than enough for me. I got one can I've had forever. Um, so then next to that is all of the mouthwash. All of the mouthwash. You got tons of mouthwash. All right. And then next to that, I get into the little um, plug in things on the floor there. Then you got the um, light bulbs next to that. You got a lot of tissues and soaps. 
not a lot of soaps. This is all I have left over that's not upstairs in my hall closet. That's why when you see me do my videos, I try, when I have an option of getting either body wash or bar soap, I try to go for the bar soap because we don't get a lot of deals on bar soap. And so this is all I have in my overflow. So I definitely need to stock up on more. Um, then next to that, you got this um, Glade Sensen sprays right there. You got the clear cell in the corner. Um, I got one of the Vireo IQs left and a couple of AccuChecks right there. Um, my brother loves that Vireo, except he said that um, the test strips that you need for that are like 79 bucks, he said. So, yeah, he said he loves it, though, but it's very expensive for the strips. And I told him we never get deals on the strips, so I'll look out for them, but never see deals on the strips. So more um, household stuff there, candles and stuff. You got the um, Lysol um, dispensers there, some more household stuff. It's what's on the floor right here in the front. Okay. Then when you get to the boxes, this box right here is my vitamins. Um, it's supposed to be all vitamins. It's probably 95% vitamins in that box. A lot of nature-made vitamins underneath this stuff, you guys. So this is my vitamin box. Next to that is my personal face cleanser stuff. That's my cleansing products there. Uh, face wipes and all that in that box. Next to that, I think this bag had a comforter that came in it, so I used it for all of my like bare aspirin and um, any pain medicines, um, stuff like that, cold medicine mixed up in there, My uh, a lot of eye drops, stuff like that is in that bag. The box in front of it has like hair stuff that I just didn't know where else to put. A lot of the Got To Be products are in that box there. And right up on here, you got some hand sanitizers, you got some of the um, contact lens solutions, and uh, what's left of the um, what's left of the hair color, other than what I've already given away, I still have some left over because I really don't dye my hair. Those kits on the side, they are definitely going as gifts this um, Christmas to people, so I've held on to those. Okay, the box in the back here. This is my kind of high-end stuff for the drugstore. <laughs> so I don't give this stuff away. This is my um, face stuff, cleanser stuff that's more on the high-end in the drugstores. A lot of the physician formula stuff. The um, sell my high ex stuff. Stuff like that I just don't give away. That's my only stuff that I just don't give away. This particular box here has miscellaneous stuff like socks and pantyhose and um, shoe insoles and stuff like that that I get from like Rite Aid and stuff like that. So that's in there. Um, this box is nothing but tooth toothpaste. This is the box that my um, printer came in. So it's pretty deep, but it has nothing but toothpaste. This box here is my deodorant. Not a whole lot, but a uh, good little amount there. The box is in the front, toothbrushes, toothpicks, I mean, you know, the floss picks, floss, stuff like that, oral care stuff is in that box. This box is nothing but razors, razors, razors. Y'all see how big this box is? Razors. I am going to have to find some men. I'm going to have to stop at the um, fire depart firehouse that I pass every day coming home and see if those guys want to take these, especially the men's razors, off my hands. Although I have five living brothers, I have six total, they don't shave. Majority of black men don't shave. So, <laughs> trying to get rid of these razors has been difficult. So, I'm going to have to donate them. This box right here is pretty much supposed to be for first aid stuff. A lot of band-aids, wraps, stuff like that. But I've mixed in some like pain stuff as well. So, that's what that box is. This is just some overflow stuff here. The balloons, some um, panty liners, the lychee. Leche stuff, leachy stuff. My Thermacare sitting up there, what I have left over. Um, this bag, I was supposed to have donated, and I never did. So I still got to give these um, Contra meter, meters away. I don't know how many is in there. It's probably like 12 in there. Got to give those away. Um, the cotton nail I just got today, I just set those on the floor. Let me zoom back out. 
and yeah and then the um cottonelle wipes right there that i got recently so this is it this is my stockpile other than what we use on a regular basis that's upstairs in the hall closets like the toilet paper all of my scott stuff is upstairs my toilet paper my paper towels all of that stuff is upstairs as well as other stuff in the hall closet that we use on a regular basis but just want to give you guys a look at my stockpile <laughs> and how I'm storing it. I don't even want to buy bins. I'm not going to buy any bins. I have enough bins with my um, winter stuff, personal stuff in it. I don't want to get bins, so I'm just going to take my time. And when I get a chance to get these shelving units, then I'll get those when, you know, I want to get it. Right now, it's not important. But, yeah, so this is how I'm storing it. Works for me. I can see everything. And I can easily come down here, pick something up, and I'm good to go. So, yeah, just want to show you guys how I'm storing my stuff and how much I have. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, happy shopping. Happy savings. Bye.